Welcome back to another edition of Fly Tying for Beginners. Today we're going to tie a bead eye red squirrel nymph. Look, I have an advice is a size 14. This is two extra long nymph hook. I'm going to use a rusty brown 8 aught 70 denier thread. We're going to put the eyes right up by the eye of the hook. For this I have a small stainless steel bead chain. And we're going to put several wraps one direction and then cross over and put several wraps in the opposite direction. And then take the thread and go under the eyes and over the shank. We're going to move our thread to the rear of the hook. As with most nymphs, and especially in the summertime, you want to get that nymph down to the bottom. So I'm going to use 20 thousandths lead wire, and I'm going to put about 10 wraps on there. Oop, looks like I'm going to fit more than that. I got about 12 wraps on there. Break off the back. And then you can put some securing wraps over the lead. Now I'm going to take a patch of red squirrel. And I'm just going to take a small amount of the fibers. I'm going to show you here just that little bit is plenty. You have to judge it more by what's on the top than what's on the bottom. I'm going to take that and you could remove that soft hair off the bottom. I'm going to tie that in. Get rid of those really long ones there. Now I'm going to take my beeswax and wax my thread there a little bit. I have a bunch of loose hair from when I cut it off the hide. When I cut the square off the hide. So I'm going to be able to use that. Otherwise just pick some hair off the hide. And we're going to make ourselves a noodle don't have to be doesn't have to be heavy we have a thick body right now with the lead on there this makes a really nice uh, natural nymph color if you turn over the rocks you see that they're kinda dark when they're underneath the rocks Put a little bit more on there. And that looks like about enough. Now I'm going to take my dubbing whorl. And I'm going to make a small dubbing loop. Just about the size of my clip so I can get the hair in there. Now I'm going to take my squirrel patch. I'm going to take my bodkin needle. And I don't want a lot of the hair. I only need a small amount. You can see. I'm going to fold that over. Once I get it folded over, I'm going to grab it with my fingers. And we have that separated there. And see that amount there? That's probably even a little bit too much. We only want about three quarters of an inch. What happens is the fur on the bottom makes it really thick. 
going to grab that hair in my clip and cut it off the piece of hide. Going to carefully move it out just a little bit. There we go. Now I'm going to put it in my dubbing loop. And close the thread on it. I'm going to move that spool, that bobbin away. Now I can spread it out there a little bit. I'm going to give the dubbing whirl a spin. Now we've got ourselves a nice little squirrel hair hackle. We're going to take that and we're going to wrap that. Move that bobbin back into position. And just stroke it towards the rear as you're going. Bring that right up to the eyes. And then you can even take that to the front of the eyes to tie it off. Oh, I broke it. Broke my thread. I got a quick grip on it. There we go. Grabbed it with my hackle pliers. And I'm going to trim off that dubbing loop. Just stroke all of that hair towards the rear. I'm going to take my half inch tool and put some half hitches in there. And here we have a bead eye red squirrel nymph. Hope that you learned something from this video. Hope you would subscribe to my channel. Please refer me to your friends. Leave comments, questions, suggestions. And most of all, thank you very much for watching my videos.